In this video series we're taking a look at matrices and in part 3 we're going to take a look at the multiplication of matrices. So in order to multiply two matrices together it's only possible if the number of columns in the first matrix is the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So if we take this example here we've got three columns in the first matrix and three rows in the second one so it's possible to multiply these together. So let's just take a look at this in a bit more detail. So two rows in the first one, three columns in the second one. So this is a two by three. And then the second one has three rows, two columns. So this is a three by two. Now it's important that the, the columns of the first one matches the rows of the second one. So these two numbers here must match. And then the two numbers on the outside so the rows of the first matrix and the columns of the second matrix, that determines the size of the answer matrix. So in this case it's going to be a 2 by 2 for the answer matrix. And we're going to take a look in a bit more detail how we calculate the elements for this answer matrix. So we can see that's got two columns, two rows, now, in order to multiply them, each element of the answer matrix is given by them by multiplying each element of the corresponding row of the first matrix with the corresponding element in the corresponding column of the second matrix and summing the answers. That's a big, horrible mouthful and doesn't really help us very much. So let's look at an example just to sort of see how this works. So let's go back to our example and, and go through this step by step. So the first element we're going to calculate in our answer matrix is for row 1, column 1. So that means that we need row 1 from the first matrix and column 1 from the second matrix. And then we're going to multiply the elements together. So the first element in the row is 2 from matrix 1 and the first element in the column from this second matrix is 3. So you multiply those together. We then do the same thing for the next two elements, which is 5 and 9. And then for the final element there, element 3 in the first row and element 3 in the first column for the two matrices respectively, multiply those together and we get a total of 59. And so that is what actually goes in to the answer matrix here for row 1, column 1. OK, now we're going to move on to row 1, column 2. So again, we're focused on the first row in matrix 1 and column 2 in matrix 2. And that's going to be used to work out the value of the element here. So again, it's the same process. We multiply the entries together. So it's 2 times 11, and then it's 5 times 14, and then it's 1 times 6. If we add all of those up we get 98 so that's what's going to go into our element for row 1 column 2 in the answer matrix. Now we move on to row 2 column 1 and it's the same process. You multiply the elements together in turn so it's 7 times 3 then it's 4 times 9, 3 times 8 and if we add that up we get 81. And so now we've got the element for row 2, column 1. And if this seems a bit strange, just sort of accept it. This is how matrices work. This is how the maths has been put together for, for what we do here. And so what I'm doing is so I'm just showing you and talking you through the steps and stages. The final one then is row 2, column 2. And it's the same process. So we've got 7 times 11, 4 times 14, 3 times 6 add that up we get 151 and so that is then the entry for row 2 column 2 in our answer matrix. So overall that is the calculation and the answer uh, presented all in one place. So that's been a video about multiplying matrices hope you found that useful please remember to comment like and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.